Hey YouTube. Uh, so I thought I would do a quick review of the uh, Black Diamond Cosmo headlamp. Uh, I just wanted to share a little about what uh, went into my decision making process about choosing this particular headlamp over others. Um, and this was, uh, you know, the one that I settled on and by far my favorite. Uh, these are both uh, Black Diamond Cosmo headlamps. They come in a lot of cool colors. Um, you know, they're good looking headlamps. Um, you know, pretty standard for what Black Diamond offers in terms of size and uh, weight. You can certainly get ones that are more fancy than this. Um, first, I'll start out by saying that uh, one of the main selling points for me was that because you can get so many headlamps that are so much more fancy than this and spend, you know, upwards of 100 bucks or at least 60 on a really good one, this headlamp retails for about $30. Um, so, big sell point for me. Uh, it has the typical pre, uh, black diamond headband, which are very comfortable to wear. Uh, one of the reasons I chose this over something like the Petzl E-Lite, which was probably second runner-up for me, uh, was because it did have this comfortable headband. Um, you know, for me, if I'm going to be using a headlamp, um, you know, I want it to stay on my head. I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want it slipping. I want it uh, to stay where I put it. So uh, the Petzl E-Lite has this kind of thin band that, you know, it doesn't have elastic, and you just kind of cinch it to your head. Um, you know, I, I tried them on and stuff like that. It, you know, it kind of rode on your ears. I wear glasses, so that's really uncomfortable. Uh, this one you can put on your head or hat. It's, it's just, you know, you can cinch it down if you need to, but the elastic holds it tight. Um, in terms of the mechanical operation, it really, it doesn't do much. It just, it has, um, it can tilt down. Uh, if this is flat against your head, it tilts uh, pretty much all the way down. You could read, um, you know, pretty comfortably with that. I wear it with just... Um, it has like three little ratchet settings. I wear it usually at about the first one and that uh, keeps the light where my eyes look. Um, so just a little about the operation of it, just to show you guys how this particular light works. Uh, it has one um, primary light bulb. Um, Black Diamond rates this at 70 lumens. Uh, it is just a main on-off. It then has, uh, sorry, there's just the one button for operation and I'll show you how that works, but first I'll go through the lights. My organization is a little bad. So it has the main light, it has two proximity lights that individually are half the lumens of the main light, and then it has a red light feature. Uh, the, the main light is, if you're you know out of the box, it'll be the main light setting first, it'll be the main light on, and I know that's kind of hard to see because on YouTube, flashlights are hard to review because they wash out the camera. Uh, so it's main light on, main light off, then the next push of the button will bring the proximity lights on, then the main, then another push will turn the proximity lights off, and then the main will be back on, and it just cycles through that, uh, those settings. Uh, now for both of the white lights, you can those this every time you turn them on from the off position, they're at their brightest. So that's 70 lumens on the main light. But if you hold down the button, you can dim. Uh, both of the both settings, both the main light and the proximity lights. So this is at its lowest setting. That'll last. That'll uh, save the battery life. Then off, and then the proximity lights are on. And they're full, and you can dim those as well. And it gives one flash when they're at their lowest, and then it'll flash again at their highest, so that you know uh, where you are in the dimming cycle. Uh, now Black Diamond advertises uh, that these proximity lights, uh, at their highest power will last 250 hours on one set of AAA batteries. Uh, the main light, it says, will last 150 hours uh, at max, uh, maximum illumination. So, uh, it really does have a great battery life uh, for, th for three AAA batteries. Uh, that, too, is um, a requisite for me when I'm buying any kind of light uh, or electronic that's going into my bug out bag or EDC is that it must run on double or triple A's. So, uh, that was another big selling point for this. Um, I'll just say it weighs 3.2 ounces uh, with the batteries in it, uh, and it's right on that. Um, let's see. So the other thing, the main reason I bought this light is because of its red light feature. Uh, now, the cones in your eyes uh, can pick up a red light, but if the rods in your eyes get any kind of a, a flash of white light, it'll wash them out. Um, now, according to our uh, medical professors and medical textbooks, it, once you, uh, once your rods have reestablished themselves and the, uh, the chemical reaction is done running, uh, in perfect night, with no ambient light coming in, your 
you can really see pretty well in the dark. You've all experienced it. Uh, and once you wash those rods out, you have, you have to wait about an hour and a half for that chemical reaction to fully reset itself before you're back to uh, ground zero. So what I love about this light, especially versus the Petzli light, is that it has a one button red light on and you can bypass, uh, you can turn the red on without going cycling through the white phase. You simply hold the button down when it's in its off position and on comes the red light. Uh, you can't really do anything with the red light, it's just the single red light mode, uh, but that really is all you need. Um, it's, it's a great little red light, it seems, you know, and then once you're in the red light mode, it's just on and off. Just single clicks. No, you know, so you don't accidentally uh, wash out your night vision because you hit the wrong button if you're tired or whatever. Uh, so to get it back on, you simply turn it on and hold the button down again. Sorry, hold the button down again and it'll switch over to the white. Uh, so, the big thing I didn't like about the Petzl E-Light is it has its lights on one side and it has a kind of rotator on off switch on the other. Uh, it starts kind of up here in the off position. You have to cycle through white and two different strobes before you get to the red light feature. And that's totally pointless. Um, it just, it's, it's a bad idea. It's a bad design for uh, maintaining your night vision. And in an, emerg in, in an emergency, in a bug out situation, you know, you want to, if, if that's something you want to maintain, and there are plenty of situations where once you have night vision, it's a good idea to maintain it. Um, that's why I went with this. Um, I don't know if I said it or not. This retails for 30 bucks, which is uh, about what the Petzl Eli runs. So for my money, this is where it's at. The other thing I'll say is uh, as far as a negative goes, this is rated at the IPX rating of 4, uh, which just means that it can uh, withstand splashing water from any direction. Um, you know, I've worn it in the rain and it does just fine, but you know, if you were going to uh, jump in water or, you know, drop it in a puddle or if it was really a torrential rain, uh, you know, this might uh, be compromised. So that's uh, the one negative to this is uh, over the Petzl e light. The Petzl e light's uh, waterproof up to about a meter. So, um, you know, you can get more expensive headlamps that do the same functions in the same way as this one does, especially from Black Diamond, uh, but they get much more expensive very quickly. Uh, so that's the one uh, thing I wish was different about this headlamp. Uh, but other than that, uh, this is uh, the best one for me and my purposes and uh, for. Uh, my mentality in terms of prepping. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and like.